So here's a quick install guide on the Chad 31 Iris for the PBS 31. First off, we recommend removing the bikini covers as it just makes the installation a lot easier. So you might notice that the front of the 31 has these lens caps on them. They don't actually look like a separate part, but they can actually be removed because they are sacrificial lenses. So we recommend grabbing the front objective focus ring and then twisting these lenses off. They're smooth in the front, they're pretty hard to mistake, and they should come off, although there will be a fair amount of threads under them. So you do need to unscrew them for quite a bit until they pop right off. And we're gonna use these internal threads to thread on the Chad 31 Iris. So let's take off the other side and get started. You want to be sure you keep these lenses in a safe place because the Chad 31 Iris is not ingress rated. So if you do need to use this for underwater operations, then be sure to use the stock lenses instead of the Chad 31s. The Chad 31, however, does include an O-ring on the rear of the Iris. And this is mostly for dust and light water ingress. So things like rain and splashing would be fine, but no submersion. The Chad 31 comes in two versions. This one here is polycarbonate for impact protection. And this one here is going to be US mil spec glass for more clarity and for slightly less flaring. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. We're gonna use the polycarbonate ones here, which are gonna be popular for any force on force or high impact applications. So they twist on via the internal threads on the iris on the front lenses of the 31. There are gonna be a lot of threads and you will feel a little bit of resistance because they do have an O-ring on the iris itself for resistance against dust ingress, but eventually they will bottom out. Now, just be careful, do not over torque them on as you can damage your goggle if you really crank them on. So just tighten them until they feel hand tight. And with the amount of threads and the O-ring on the irises, they should be good to go. If you do want to use your bikini covers on these to provide a total blackout cover instead of the pinholes that the irises have, it's very simple. Now you will notice that out of the box, they won't fit on the conventional way, but the solution to this is easy. All you do is you flip them upside down so that the larger end of the bikini cover is covering the iris and the smaller end is covering the eyepiece or the ocular lens where you're looking through. It just so turns out that the bikini covers are perfectly sized for the iris and the rear lens in this fashion. And then you can install your retention elastics to keep them on as normal. And there you have it. Now you have some twist on irises that will not fall off and are easy to actuate on your PVS 31. These are really nice to use because the knurling is a different pattern on them and you're still able to adjust focus and control your aperture with simple operations that are very tactile. To get your own set, visit the link in the description and thanks for watching everybody. We will see you on the next one.